Hello everyone, so um, today's video is going to be unboxing of a, the Sigma 35mm f1.4 DG art lens specifically made for Sony FE lens mount and uh, as you can see over here I have uh, just unboxed and have been using for a couple of days the Sigma's 85mm f1.4 DG uh, art for Sony FE and this is mounted onto my A7, um, my A7 R3, and uh, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this one, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick first impression of what I feel about the 35 mm lens. And in my previous video, I mentioned that the 85 mm works great in continuous autofocus mode but it's kind of hunting a little bit um, in the single servo AF mode uh, hopefully the 35mm doesn't have this problem and uh, we'll take a look and find out if it has this problem or not so very traditional Sigma white plain box of, of course over here it's 35mm f1.4 fair size 67mm uh, I always get a new filter for the lens that I buy, so I'm gonna, after this review, put on a new lens, uh, a new filter for it. And, uh, yep, there's nothing much about this box except it says it's for Sony E mount, uh, which is very exciting. And this lens was just released last week, and uh, um, they have been shipping those quite a lot and as I said before I pre-ordered all those lenses like three months ago but it doesn't seem to be a problem with uh, the lens being out of stock because it's being in stock everywhere maybe the demand is not as high as they, uh, they thought but you can still get it you know Amazon or any other uh, websites that you know that sells those, those lenses and make sure every time uh, why Tell people when you buy the lens, make sure you buy the USA version so you can get the full warranty if you are buying new lens. If you're buying a used one, it doesn't matter much. Um, just make sure if you buy used to get a good quality lens that doesn't have any you know, damages to the lens. Um, and the usual instructional manual, exactly, or not exactly, but almost same as um, what the 85mm came with. And of course, this little sticker, that's a warranty sticker. Basically, I'm, I'm going to stick this warranty sticker onto this little warranty card. So I'm going to open up the warranty card. And you can see here is an area for you to stick your warranty onto the card. So there you go. There's your one-year warranty from, from Sigma. Um, if you purchased this with a credit card, and it's a USA version, you can get one year of extended warranty uh, because most credit card companies offers a extended warranty when the original manufacturer's warranty expires. So that's something to keep in mind. Always buy things with credit card because it either it, it's, not, it's not only it will protect you uh, with additional benefits and uh, you, sometimes you if you have a cashback credit card, you're gonna get cashback from those credit cards. Okay, so enough credit card talking exact same design style uh, compared to what the 85 mm came with 85 comes with a giant squared case for the lens and this one comes with a, a case you know that's fitted for the 35 mm I would assume it's a little bit smaller so let's open it and take a look hi cupcake apparently my cat wants to take a look at the lens as well okay let's see so Again, I praised about how well the padding is, and uh, there you have it. It's exact same padding as the 85 millimeter, and taking it out, it's quite, it's not as hefty as the 85. I'm gonna put the 85 right over here just for comparison. So it's not quite as hefty. Of course, it comes with a lens hood, and uh, I'm gonna leave the case aside. So open it up, and I, when you hold the lens, you can. It's, it's a very nice feel. The lens feels extremely well made. And it's a beautiful piece. Um, again, because of the, the mirrorless mount, the only thing they did compared to the, um, the lens that Sigma made for Nikon, Canon, or any other DSRs is that they basically just extended um, 
the extra lens barrel to accommodate the mirrorless design. And they didn't change the design much, but also another huge benefit with the FE mount, native mount, is uh, you get continuous AF with like extremely well and fast continuous AF with the Sigma lens, with the Sigma Art lens, that's FE mount. Um, I've tested the lens a little more um, on my cats and on some of, <laughs> some of my friends and uh, the um, continuous AF works extremely well, the IAF works extremely well, it's so easy to find the eye and uh, I'm gonna assume it's, this thing is gonna do exact, exactly the same, okay? So um, compare the two side, side by side, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually remove the lens hood and compare them side by side because otherwise it's hard to tell, okay? So right over here, and that is the 85, and this is the 35. It almost feels like it's half the size of the 85. And interestingly, I also have the 90 millimeter macro that I've compared last time from Sony. That's uh, this is 90 millimeter macro G lens. You can see the size difference. Um, it's almost the same size as the uh, 90 millimeter macro from Sony almost the same size. Take off the lens hood and as you can see the 90 mm is slightly longer maybe like half an inch not even half an inch like a quarter inch longer than the um, the 35 and in terms of like in terms of thickness it's almost the same as well um, yeah it's almost the same and uh, interestingly um, this lens, the entire exterior is made of metal, and this one, most of the part is made of metal. This is made of metal, that's shiny, and the, the focusing ring is made of metal, and this part is plastic, but I'm sure inside there, it's gonna be a metal barrel. Um, in terms of the focus, the focus is very smooth, um, and it's a short throw focus, so basically you can turn quickly and to get from one end to infinity. So closest, fo closest to focusing distance, is um, let's see, it's uh, it's almost a foot. It's point nine nine foot, so almost one foot, uh, and it's zero point three meters. That's the closest focusing distance. Of course, it focuses to infinity. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think the infinity is calibrated. Um, so you have to, when you're doing manual focus, keep that in mind. Okay, um, but the focus is extremely smooth. And of course, this is not um, this is not a focus by wire design like the um, like the Sony. Uh, it have a distance meter, and basically, when you're turning, the mechanism inside is turning as well without any battery power. Uh, so this is not focused by wire, but the Sony's G design is 100% focused by wire. Uh, you turn this ring, and uh, it only it only works when it's attached to the camera to change the focus. Okay, so. Um, interesting thing uh, or interesting thing to point out that is of course uh, very typical Sigma well-made quality design and uh, over here the, the art logo uh, over here is the manual and auto focus switch and one thing I find funny is that um, okay. oh, hold on. this knob is pretty tight it's like it's very tight. It's a very tight uh, on and off switch. <laughs> I can tell you that. Okay, so one thing I tried is in AF mode, I tried to override the focus and uh, uh, it doesn't work. It, the, the focus will jump back to automatic. Maybe I was in the continuous focusing mode. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna test again because it, it didn't work on this lens. Um, so we'll find out. I'm gonna remove the 85 millimeter and I'm gonna put on the 35 millimeter. And after you've been using the 85, this feels like nothing. It's like so much more compact compared to the 85. And I know the 35 millimeter is what Sigma got their foot uh, got their foot uh, settled uh, as I guess the leader in affordable um, large aperture uh, lens design manufacturer. Um, so let's see. Okay, mount it onto the camera. Again, this is my. Um, a a a seven R three um, for film camera. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. 
hopefully I have a card inside. Uh, let's see, nope, I don't have a card. And I'm testing focus again. Hopefully you guys can see the how fast the um, So I'm using continuous focus. I'm going to change it to single focus and see if it have that problem that I discussed with the 85 millimeter. So I'm changing to AFS and I'm using the single focus, single point mode. Yep. It have the exact same problem. If you look at the focus, it always hunts a little bit before it locks on. It hunts to the front, it hunts to the back, and then it locks. So maybe that's with... Um, and sometimes it have, have trouble focusing in the single focusing mode. And I know this is probably contrast um, AF. And when I'm in the uh, continuous focus mode, it is a uh, face detection. So which I think works a lot better in terms of focusing. And as you can see, it, it hunts a little bit in contrast AF mode. And it takes, takes a little, it takes a little while for it to get focused. And if I change it to continuous, it's not going to have this problem. Like it just locks onto stuff like extremely well. So now it's locking onto my hand. Yeah. So continuous AF, I can assure you that the lens performs flawlessly, but in single AF, it's hunting. Um, continuous AF, absolutely no problem. Okay. And of course the uh, f1.4 aperture gives the lens a beautiful bokeh, out of focus subject. Um, so I would assume this is great for people who want to do street photography. Um, maybe not so much as a, um, I guess as a, um, the secret setup because this lens is huge. And even though the camera itself is not as big, um, for people who want the secret setup, uh, you might look into a Fujifilm. Uh, are I would say um, Leica for that uh, for that reason because they are so compact um, and this lens is not built to be uh, to be hidden this lens is built to be uh, to be seen <laughs> so again I would assume this is great for portrait photography and uh, where you want a little bit more of the main subject and uh, you also want to see the background so with the 85 it's mainly just uh, your subject, like pretty much like upper body shots and full face shots. Uh, with this, you can get, you know, the whole body shot, and you're gonna have a very good looking background if you're using a large aperture setting. Um, let's see. So the aperture goes as as uh, as small as f16. Um, so again, so it's uh, f1.4 to f16. Uh, let's see. Otherwise. I doubt that this lens is... I'm gonna do some sample test shots again with my cats and then I'm gonna post those pictures in the description so you guys can take a look. I'm gonna include the full-size G-Packs. And uh, again, I think in terms of performance, it's it's same with the same as the 85. Focusing is super quick and smooth in continuous AF. And, uh, but in single AF, it, it, it tends to uh, hunt a little bit. The interesting thing with um, with a Sony native lens is that for the um, for the 90 millimeter G, it actually doesn't hunt when it locks onto target in the in the single AF mode. But for the Sigma, I'm not sure why, but it's it's hunting. So, but the thing is, since I started using Sony, I have I have not used single AF much. It, I'm always using continuous AF and uh, uh, wide field autofocusing because basically the the camera is like smart enough to pick up my subject and a lot of times find the face and find the eye, so I don't have any trouble using continuous focus all the time. 
I think it's for one of those rare occasions that you might use single AF. But then again, if you're using single AF, it's probably a steel subject. It doesn't move much, so that, that little bit of the hunting probably doesn't matter much to you. But that is something to keep in mind because it it hunts. I'm gonna show you guys again. So I'm locking onto a target, it goes forward, back, and then it locks. So that's an extra couple milliseconds of delay. If you can't handle that, I would suggest you just get native Sony lens. And I don't think native Sony lens have this problem with like hunting back and forth. So there you have it. Again, lens very well made, and I'm sure the optics is as good as the um, you know the original offering for Nikon or Canon, um, except this is dedicated to Sony mount. And I'm gonna do the 85 mm again, show you guys that it, it the focus still hunts in single AF, and I'm sure this would probably happen. battery just died okay um, weird now the camera is acting up or maybe the battery died <laughs> I didn't even notice so okay never mind I'm not gonna test on the 85 because the camera just turned itself off on me um, but this would conclude the uh, quick unboxing of the 35mm lens and uh, if you guys have any questions about this lens uh, feel free to ask me in the comments section otherwise uh, I thank you so much for watching and uh, hope you have a great day take care okay guys uh, so a super weird thing just happened um, while I was doing that review I told you my uh, a7 r3 um, the battery died, but indeed it's not. I was just frozen on me, and uh, when I was trying to take the uh, when I was trying to take the lens out, and um, the shutter, um, the mechanical shutter actually closed on me, and uh, for some reason it just locked right over there, and it wouldn't even turn on. I don't know why, but now I um, I put the battery, I put a different battery in my A7R three, and uh, I did reset, and now it just. Um, it just worked again fine, but that was pretty scary because it could happen during the photo shoot and then you would have no idea what happened. So again, I'm going to test it on the 85mm, the single focusing hunting problem. Let's see. Let's see, I'm going to use um, spot metering. And I'm going to use... Uh, AFS. So here we go. They have the exact same problem. They, they hunt back and forward before they lock. Now I'm not sure if this also happens with uh, with the adapters uh, that you guys use for the Canon um, art lens, but this is the same. I mean this is happening on all the art lens I have owned for now. So I would assume all the other art lens will probably have the exact same problem with single AF hunting. Uh, let, let me test again on the 35. Again, it's a small issue, but it's an issue that's kind of of an annoyance to annoyance to me. So same thing. It's hunting. So there you have it. Uh, here's a quick test. And uh, I'm not sure what happened to my A7R3 uh, during the, the test for the 85mm, but it did freeze up on me and the, the shutter did lock. I'm not sure if it's related to the lens or if it's a compatibility issue, but that's something also for you guys to keep in mind. It only happened to me when I was doing this. This is the first time it's happening to me and, and I'm using non-Sony lens. It might, have to, it might happen to me again, but until then, I'll let you know. Okay, all right, thank you so much and take care. Okay guys, I'm not sure something happened to this lens because it keeps giving me problems and after I finished, you know, 
resetting my camera because it froze up during the lens exchange on the uh, Sigma Art uh, between my 85 and 35 and I was testing it again and the weird thing is um, the setting is at AF mode so um, I'm able to you know switch around and focus but this, the camera suddenly lost its ability to autofocus and it keeps giving me an error that says invalid in the it keeps giving me an error something like something like that it gives me that error when I was in AF mode and it's not supposed to do that when I was trying to change from AFS to AFC and uh, and I was in auto and it had that message so something happened I'm not sure I think there's a sort of a quality control issue with the lens. There might be, but this is my first impression as I just opened this lens right now and it already gave me two problems. So I'm not sure what my conclusion will be. I think I'm gonna do a few more testing and come back and make my final conclusion because of all the problems that it gave me in this short five minutes time range. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and update uh, to this review. Thank you.